on billions, you are badass. Can we just, <laughs> can we just say that? Um, that is one of my favorite shows on Showtime. Oh, wow. And, and this season, I, I'm watching you because I'm like, something's up. You about to, are you, are you about to turn on, on some people? Are you about to flip some tables? What, what's going on with she's your character? She's turning up in general. She's about to turn up in general. I think, you know, this season she really has the space to actually do what it is that she's been trying to do all this time, which is get to where she's trying to go. And I think that this season, given the nature of where she's now ended up, now she's working back with Chuck, you know, she's, she has more space to actually show herself and to show up, you know. So there's a lot of, uh, there are lots of twists and turns this season. <laughs> and you are, I think what I've been having a good time playing um, as Kate Sacker is you know, if you go to season one, she came in with these very pure intentions of the, the kind of leader she was going to be, how she was going to end up in the White House. She had all of these ideas as to how, what she was going to do. And I think gradually over the course of the season, you kind of watched her learn in her journey that she, there are some decisions that she's had to make and that she will have to make in order to even get to the position to be able to make these decisions as a leader. So you, you're watching her navigate through some pretty sticky situations and, you know, questions of morality often arise. Uh, and I think that that's something that I'm often trying to play with her. It's like, okay, so when is this? This is a dirt. Like, so there are certain things that happen. We're like, okay, this is a dirty move right now. So we can't <laughs> ignore that this is a dirty move. So we have to figure out, like, what's my end to that? Like, what, how, how is the character, what's the end? Is, it, is she compartmentalizing? Like, what is it? You know, mm -hmm. so that's, that's my job to kind of always excavate what her thought process is as she navigates through her journey where is the black womanhood in playing this character because she's obviously a black woman yeah can can she do we were talking about betty wright betty wright has a song that you know you can't do what the boys can do but mm. then there's an extra layer to that like we can't do what they can do as black people how does that show up in this character or does it or are you playing it agnostically I'm kind of, well, I think what, what I get from her is that I think her ambition and her drive and her ability to go, listen, I'm going to do what I'm here to do is what keeps her moving. And it does keep her moving. So because of the way she witnesses herself, she is able to navigate through these rooms. Now, at the same time, uh, I think it, it, it's come up a few times in past seasons also where I've had to have certain conversations with writers and just kind of describe or to, you know, just impart certain things as to how, like, okay, that might not actually go that way so let's just revisit and let's talk about what it would actually be like so we can just try to find the truth in there but i think there are there have been times in in this season and, and in past seasons where you know um uh, based on race there are certain things that she's had to there are some decisions that she's had to make where she's had to kind of like like as a black woman this is not an okay decision to make right now <laughs> like mm, to, to, right. to prosecute this person is like actually not okay right now and so even as the, as the actor, I'm, often some of them I'm like, ooh, all right, okay, that's the story I want to tell, okay? So I always have to find my way in. I have to find, because it's hard to, it becomes harder to play a character when you judge them or you turn on them. You have to always find your way into the character. So I always, that's my, that is my biggest challenge with this character is often finding my way in. 